I'll be showing how to create animated GIFs right inside of PowerPoint. First, I'll show how to take an MP4 video, put it into PowerPoint and save it off as an animated GIF. And then I'll show how to create a custom frame by frame animated GIF in PowerPoint. So let's get started. Now to start off, I'm here in PowerPoint and this is the Office 365 version of PowerPoint desktop. And I'm on the insert menu here. And I'm gonna go way over on the right and click the video and say, insert video from my PC. So I'll find a video. Okay, here's my video. Just as a background, this is kind of a fun thing that when Microsoft and Flipgrid came together as companies, we made a welcome video to the Flipgrid team that reenacted the famous Saturday Night Live cowbell sketch. And so I'm gonna take a clip of this, just probably seven seconds or so, when I was Bruce Dickinson to make myself into an animated GIF. So this is the MP4. And what I'm gonna do is get to the part where I wanna start the GIF and I'm gonna trim this. So first off, let's find that part. Okay, here's the beginning and this is where I'm gonna be standing up. Now you go to the playback right up here on top when a video is selected and you're gonna see you can trim videos in PowerPoint. So I'll click trim and I'm gonna move this spot up to 15.328. So for start time, it's 15.328. There we go. And then I'm gonna take the back end and trim the back side off. So again, this video will be just a few seconds when it's done. And I'm just gonna scroll out right there and we'll stop. Okay, looks pretty good. And I'm gonna hit okay and it's gonna trim the front and back. Okay, now it's just a short video. Let's hit play to see what that looks like. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more flip grip. All right, so it looks good. Now, with the animated GIF, oftentimes since there isn't any audio, you might wanna add your own type of overlay or voice bubble or something fun. So in this case, let's do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of my own voice bubble to this GIF. So I'll go to the Home tab here and let's see, oh, there's a little voice bubble. Let's click this and I'm gonna draw out my voice bubble. And because obviously it's Flipgrid color, gotta make it green and we'll just clean this up really quick and add some text. Okay, I've added some text, and let's make sure this is adjusted. Let's play it back. Guess what? I got a fever, and the only prescription is more flip grip. All right, Guess Bruce what? is looking good. Now, we're ready to save this as a GIF. In PowerPoint, this is a fairly new feature. If I go to the File menu now, and I choose Save a Copy, I'm gonna choose the type of file. So if you drop down this, you're gonna have a whole bunch of choices, but if you scroll down, there's an animated GIF format right here. So we're gonna save this one as Bruce Dickinson, the legendary producer, and I'll save this to my animated GIFs folder right here and hit save. Now it's gonna convert that little short MP4 into an animated GIF. Okay, let's go to the animated GIFs folder. Here's my Bruce Dickinson GIF. Now let's open it up and see what it looks like. There we are. Got my own animated GIF of Bruce Dickinson. Now you can use this in lots of fun places. You can use it in PowerPoint presentations. You can use it in social media. You can do whatever you want, but it's really easy to make that animated GIF. Now we're gonna go back into PowerPoint and show how to build your own animated GIF and show how to animate that. Now I'm back here in PowerPoint. We're gonna have like a little flying character that flies across the screen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new slide. Now I've got a blank slide, and what I wanna do is create a little flying bumblebee. So I'm gonna first choose the background of my slide, and so if I go here to design, we'll format the background, and we'll make it a nice purple color. So I've got my purple background, and the way that an animated GIF works with PowerPoint is it essentially takes each slide and just like in the movies where you have different frame by frames, we're gonna create a few different frames here in PowerPoint and then show the bee flying slowly across each one and turn it into an animated GIF. So in this case, I'm gonna have four frames or four slides. So I'm gonna copy this slide here, Control C, and then hit Control V a couple of times. So we'll have four frames. Now we're gonna go find a character to put into our animation. So first I'll go to the Insert tab I'll drop down pictures and I'll choose stock images. These are images that anyone can use. You have a bunch of options, images, you know, icons, cut out people. Now I'm gonna go to stickers and lots of options here, but I kinda like the flying bee here. Let's choose the flying bee and hit insert. Okay, it inserts the flying bee onto the page. And first off, we're gonna make him a bit smaller. Go over here 
And I'm gonna drag, we're gonna start our frame on the left hand bottom corner. Now we're gonna copy the B, I'll hit copy, and we're gonna to go to frame two. And I'll hit paste, control V. And in this case, we're gonna drag the B partway up the screen, partway flying across the screen. Go to slide three, hit paste, same thing, just drag the B a little bit further. And then slide four, last frame in our animated GIF, the B will be in the upper right. And so you can get a sense of what it's gonna look like is this B will be flying across the screen as the PowerPoint cycles through. Now the next step is you need to be able to set the transition time. So what's the time that these frames or slides will rotate? Now to select all four slides, I'm gonna hold the shift key down and then click so you can see all four slides are selected. And then we're gonna to go to the transitions tab here. And way over on the right, you have the advance to slide and after a certain amount of time. So this is how long will it wait to transition each frame. I'm gonna set this to transition every 0.25 seconds. So it's gonna rotate fairly quickly and the little bee will fly across the screen. So we are ready to save this animated GIF. Now note that at the top, it still has my Bruce Dickinson GIF and we don't want that in our animated GIF. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna right click and choose hide slide. Now, if you're making an animated GIF, any active slide will get saved with it. So if you make it inactive by hiding it, this won't show up in the final GIF. Now we're going to go back and save this as an animated GIF, just like we did before with these four slides. So I'll hit file. We'll do save a copy. And we're going to drop this down the file type again, and we're going to choose animated GIF. And then give it a name, Flying B, and hit save. Now let's see what that animated GIF Flying Bee looks like. Okay, there is my Flying Bee GIF. We're gonna open it up. And the bee is flying across the screen. And again, this can be inserted into all sorts of places in presentation. You can put it on social media. You can put it wherever you want. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.